Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to uh, revisit uh, something that I tried to do, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago. And it has to do with getting one of these uh, laptop power supplies to charge up a lithium ion phosphate battery uh, using a, uh, a solar charge controller. Now, I tried it with my, my Renogy Rover 30 amp MPPT charge controller before. I'll go ahead and link the video right here so you can watch that if you didn't see it. Uh, but it failed. I couldn't get it to work. But after reading some of the comments, people were saying you shouldn't use an MPPT charge controller. You should use a PWM because uh, it keeps a, a constant voltage. It doesn't try to adjust the voltage at all. So I went on Amazon and I bought the cheapest charge controller I could find. I think this thing was $15. Uh, let me go ahead and open it up. Yeah, uh, you've probably seen these plenty of times, but it's just your basic PWM charger. I think it's a 30 amp charger. It just feels like a little kid's toy. So we'll see if this works. I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up to my battery and uh, and then we'll see if it works. I, I had to use I had to use an electric drill in order to get these loosened. Yeah, I'm sorry for calling you a toy. You are that's ridiculous. <sighs> all right, our PWM is all wired up. Uh, positive and negative to the battery terminals, and our uh, positive and negative going to the uh, going into the solar panel, positive and negative. And that is going into this power supply. Let's just go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. All right, well, it looks like, it looks like the exact same thing. Well, we ran into the exact same problem we had with our MPPT solar charge controller. So it doesn't matter if it's an MPPT or a PWM. It still plugs in and as soon as, as soon as it's plugged in, the voltage is reduced in the power supply down to the point where the uh, solar charge controller can't read it. So yeah. Uh, MPPT, PWM, doesn't matter. I still cannot get these to work. And, uh, and so I think I'm done with this experiment. I already bought another charger, so I really don't need this. And I mean, there's no reason to jack around with it anymore if it's doing the exact same issue. So. Uh, I'm calling this defeat. If someone can show me a video of someone actually pulling this off and seeing a uh, substantial amperage charging the battery, please leave it in the comments. Besides that, uh, I'm calling it quits. So thank you very much for watching this video. All right, you know what? I thought I was done with this. I just cannot get these to work. Uh, you know, I just plugged it into a PWM a charge controller and it, it, did, it did the exact same thing and it irritated me, but I'm not giving up. Uh, there was another comment that said maybe you should set these, why are these two power supplies together in parallel so we get more amperage, so we double the amperage uh, because they both are running at 19.31 volts. So the voltage is exactly the same. So we'll try to wire them in parallel to see if that will make a difference. If that doesn't work, we are gonna go ahead and try to wire them in series to double the voltage. 
That might blow up everything, but I'm willing to try it just to see if I can get these to either work or destroy themselves. So let's go ahead and check the voltages again just to make both make sure both of these work fine. And, uh, and then we'll wire them up in parallel and go from there. Okay, so we're gonna check our first power supply. Yeah, and this power, this power supply still is showing 19.31 volts. Let's go ahead and check the other power supply now. And now this power supply, and this one is also 19.31. So both of these power supplies work just fine and they're all and they're both showing 19.31 volts. So let's go ahead and wire them up in parallel and see if we still get 19.31 volts and these power supplies stay on. All right, everyone, I've got my two power supplies wired up in parallel now. So they are coming uh, you know, from the wall into this power strip and then I have them both sitting on this rubber mat so that way it's non-conductive. And then it's wired up and they're wired in parallel right there and it's going up to these two wires right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip on this switch and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if these power supplies actually stay on and if they do then we'll measure the voltage on those two wires so okay let's do it all right here we go all right it looks like the power supplies are staying on so let's go ahead and measure the voltage and our voltage shows 19.31 so they're staying on and they're staying on in parallel so let's go ahead and hook these wires into a charge controller and see if something different happens okay we've got our uh, our charge controller set back up onto our battery you can see that it's on right there 13.1 we have our positive and negative going into the PV plus and PV minus and then we have our battery plus and minus plugged in and everything is still wired the exact same down here but I think the best way we can do it is I'll switch it on and we'll just watch the lights on the power supplies. And if they stay on, then we'll do further testing. But if they, if they come on and then they fade away again, we know that parallel just doesn't work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Hope for the best. Are they staying on? Oh my gosh, you guys, I think these are staying on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, they're fading. They're fading. Darn! Well, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and unplug it. Let's see if we can see an amperage while this thing is charging up. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna watch the amperage of this. Okay, so the power supplies are on. And it ramps up and it freaks out and then goes, and then it turns off. So, okay, that didn't work. So we're gonna set these in series now. And I don't know what's gonna happen with this. This might blow up stuff before we even get to the testing phase. So we'll see. All right, now we have everything connected in series. So everything is the same. I'm gonna plug these in in a second, but our wiring goes up. This is, this is connected in, in series. So the negative right here, this is the furthest negative, and this is the furthest positive, and this is where the negative and the positive are connected to make the series. So I'm gonna plug these both in, and then I'm gonna turn on the switch, and we'll probably see these things pop or 
the fuse will probably pop in the room. I don't know what's going to happen. So, but let's go ahead and plug them in, see what happens. They're both plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on. All right, and it actually looks like the lights are staying on. And measure the ends. It should be like right around 38 volts. Yep. We got 38.62 volts, okay? So connecting two power supplies in series does double the voltage. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug it back into the Renogy, fire it up, and see if this works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, turn it on, and we're gonna watch our amperage. Okay, power supplies are on. And it's dead. You can see it's back to uh, back to night mode. So there goes all of those ideas, and we are going to call this a bust. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to do. Um, I just about gave up after finding out that the uh, the PWM charge controller didn't work, but I really wanted to fulfill that commitment of trying out everything I could think of plus what was in the comments section. So it doesn't work with the MPPT, uh, it doesn't work with a PWM, it does not work if you put them in parallel, it doesn't work if you put them in series. I don't know what else to do. So I think I am done with trying to do this. And I'm just going to stick with a lithium iron phosphate uh, charger that I bought. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you do have any other comments, uh, you can throw them in there, but I'm probably not going to try to do anything else. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.